Hello, my Pisces friends. Welcome to your July 16th through 31st, 2021 reading. This is a collective reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Also, at royalmystic.com, I am pleased to announce that you can now register for the Royal Mystic Fall Solstice Retreat for September the 18th, 2021 at Moody Gardens Hotel in Galveston, Texas. It's going to be exciting. You can be there in person or via Zoom. There's two registrations, so you can check it out and see all the details at the website royalmystic.com. With all of that announcement done, let's go into the energy. We have the Six of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Six of Cups is your soul family energy, and for Pisces, it's even stronger because these are the cups and that is your suit. So these are people in your life who you have a soul bond with, who have gone through many lifetimes, as well as you helping them, them helping you. It's a very cohesive relationship, and uh, the law of compensation definitely applies. Now we have the Ten of Swords, which is the energy of end of the cycle, a feeling of under attack, overwhelmed, being bombarded, uh, just literally being hammered, right? So well, this is the end of it. We're done. It is complete. We can now move forward. Hallelujah. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek, all Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you for this divine guidance, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much for your presence. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Thank you so much, divine. Page of Swords, the messenger coming in. I forgot. We've got to go back for one second. We had the um, Justice card, which is the Libra Major Arcana. That's the energy of the right decision being made. So, and it can also mean justice being done. So, Page of Swords, Page of Cups, the Empress. So, these are messengers. And the Page of Swords is the energy of, of information coming in. The Page of Cups is the energy of holding something to your chest. So whatever he just told you, you're not ready to divulge. Okay? Because it's not sured up yet, you don't want to jinx it. You don't want to tell anybody until you're ready and it's all signed, sealed, and delivered. The Empress is the new beginning here. She's got the wheel of the Zodiac around her, but it is just a framework, which means she's going to help you to develop this new thing. So this is the Empress energy of the universe, which means the Divine Feminine and all that entails it brings with it the energy of everything that's ever existed or will exist. So she's pretty, pretty astute. One of the, you know, that's one of the better cards of, of what you want when you're manifesting something new. And here's the Fool. The Fool is definitely a new beginning. It is the zero in the Major Arcana. And it means the unbroken cycle. As it moves in the circle, as it completes one cycle, that ending is solidly sealed and gone right into the next cycle without a hiccup. So, very smooth transition, and I always like to say without missing a paycheck, because it's just that kind of step right out of one thing and into the other. Eight of Cups. This is definitely an energy of a yes from the universe to move forward. This is sort of a graduation energy. It's where you have completed all lessons, all tasks, and are now being shown the whole horizon through the light of the moon there, giving you all the options available to you. Good old Ten of Swords coming at the perfect time. We're releasing from all of that negativity, toxic energy, feeling like it wasn't going to be possible. This is all being released. So, yay, team. And it's giving you a time period. Three days, three weeks, three months. Third time's the charm. When these swords come out, wholeheartedly you may move forward. This is a yes uh, to a job or to be accepted to any kind of organization, university, membership, a loan. It can be any application that you file. It's the energy of acceptance and welcoming you in. Exhaustion 
<laughs> is something we want to try to avoid. This is the energy of being very much uh, in a need of a long weekend, right? Or a week. This is letting you know you've got to be rested and ready. Don't don't exhaust yourself and burn the candle at both ends. Once you get past all of the the big action, please give yourself time to recover and restore. The, this card shows up to remind you. It doesn't mean that you end up flat on your back right now. But if you don't do anything, very much so. And here comes the Knight of Cups. So in the time in which you are welcomed in, or when you feel, you know, you've applied, and then here comes the ex the actual. See, you've got this little cup holding to your chest. Now this is where you're singing it to the rooftops. Give your time. Give yourself time to be um, recovering and take some time. Sometimes. Sometimes when you're going from one job to another, you have to schedule in a week of, uh, you know, time to give yourself just that extra time to actually have a vacation before you start again. Because they're not going to give you time right off the bat, right? So, that's the thing. Give yourself some, some time between, if at all possible. And I'm going to give you a bonus card for some reason. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles, and that's the energy of the Garden of Eden. I don't know why I needed to turn that over, but there you go. If the money's on the way, that's why. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Garden of Eden energy manifestation coming in. This means you have the power to believe this into existence. It is your faith that makes it true. So when you believe that the universe is pr providing for your every need and will provide everything you need, every time you need it, exactly at the right time. It's already, it's already set in motion as soon as you start that kind of manifesting. So this Knight of Pentacles is, it's being brought to you as we speak. It's already on its way. So the Four of Swords is here again to remind you. It's, it was, it's being serious. It's trying to tell you. So this is a double reminder, which means it's a little more important for you to pay attention to that. So... Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Pisces, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much for your presence, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So you have two cards here. Ten of Swords. And the Two of Pentacles. So the messenger here is telling you the hard part is over. The difficulty is over. The, the old toxic stuff or the wave of negativity or whatever it is the storm has passed you're getting the word telling you that and you're kind of going okay well, let's see what happens right so it's telling you to get yourself into the mode of getting ready to start moving forward for this but right now all you can do is focus on what you're you know what you're doing the the extra stuff is still in its place don't get caught up in everyone else's chaos Stay focused on what you're doing and move forward when it's time. So we got the King of Swords, which is Archangel Michael. Love that energy. That's protection, guidance, and removing all obstacles out of your path. Then you have the Fool. So you've got this with the Queen, I mean the Empress, sorry. The Empress, which is saying the new development is being protected as it is being brought into existence. We have the Fool and the Strength card. So this is... The strength card is Archangel Ariel and is the Leo Major Arcana. It is, as Archangel Ariel, it is the Lion of God. So it's helping you in this part of transition where you might feel vulnerable. It's giving you the strength to move through that energy uh, un unabsconded or unscathed. King of Pentacles, this is financial commitment and beautiful energy of being very grounded Ace of Cups is the energy of divine healing, divine prosperity, divine all. So, so basically, I'm saying divine, divine, but 
the best thing about this is that it is the Holy Grail. It is a blessing from the universe because it is an ace. And everything in this cup is the DNA of all existence. So, it's a pretty daggone good cup. And it's right on that Ten of Swords, so it means it's going to be able to heal whatever that was and let you just kind of move on past. Now, we've got the Nine of Swords here. When we're making this change, it looks like it's, it's causing some fear. Uh, remember, this little, this little energy is just jumping up because you're about to do something big or different. And this is only your caution inside your, um, like, lizard brain, you know, our little inner caveman instincts. When we change our trajectory, or we start to climb higher than we ever have before, a little signal goes off and says, hey, this is dangerous. We haven't done this before. It's just a protection thing, but it sometimes can freeze us in the moment. Don't let it do that to you because what it really is doing is just giving you a warning and making sure it gets your attention that you're stepping out of your comfort zone. And my darlings, the only way to grow is to step out of your comfort zone. So you can't have things change and remain the same. You have to go with the change. So we have the Judgment card, which is Archangel Gabriel blowing his horns. This is a second opportunity or a multiple opportunity at something. This is being brought back up that you thought it was off the table and now it's being restored. If you can let yourself get the rest you need, this is now going to make you able to move in the right direction absolutely with everything you need and following the higher frequency. This is a yes or a... Um, moving in the right direction it is a nod to what the decision is to move into this energy it is a good decision so you're doing the right thing now this little little cup coming in here is the offer being extended fully and this is the five of rods which is some energy of a little bit of conflict it could be inner turmoil or competition other people trying to get this job now it can also mean because you looks like you've been accepted up here and you're already in the place of, you know, in transit. And this comes in, so it could be another offer that now makes you a little conflicted of, oh God, which one do I take? So, let's see what this says. It should help. <laughs> this says, don't try to make it make sense. Go with what your higher self is guiding you to do. The Two of Swords. She's covering her eyes. It's saying, don't, don't let yourself um, be swayed from the thing that you that you feel is your better thing just because something seems more logical doesn't mean that it's the thing for you so allow yourself to just wholly meditate let it sit on your heart wait at least one night before you make the decision because it's all about either way you're going to have what you need right but you want to be happy when you do it so there you go my Pisces friends I hope you have a beautiful second half of July I will see you again in August, and I hope you will be registering for the retreat in September. I'll be happy to see you there. Namaste, my friends.